Hello friends, Tony here. In this video now we are going to create the models and migrations we need for this project. So I'm going to open the terminal here and let's zoom it like this and let's say artisan make model. As I said, uh, I have uh, alias for PHP artisan art and let's hit enter. Now the name, the first one I'm going to start with, the countries. So I'm going to say a country here. Hit enter and what we would you like any of the following. So the database, Cedar factory, uh, form request, migrations or policy. Uh, right now I'm going to select only the migration. So let's say hit migration and hit enter. Let's create also for the state. Hit enter, migration select and the same for the city. So select migration, hit enter. Also department. So artisan make model. The name is department, hit enter, select migration. And the last one is going to be the employee. So employee, hit enter, select migration and we are OK. Now let's open the project with a VS Code. Now let's open the project with VS Code. So I'm going to say code dot here. And maybe let's zoom it a little bit this one. And let's open first the countries migration. OK. And for the country, we need only the name. So let's say here, dollar sign. Table is going to be string and say name here. Now this is not going to be nullable, so it's going to be required, this one. Let's save, close this, and let's open the states. Here now we need the relationship. So the state is going to belong to the country, and let's say dollar sign table for each ID for the country ID constraint and also with the sake as gate on delete and we need also the name for the state so dollar sign table string for the name Okay, let's save. Let's zoom it so it's a bit like this. Let's close this and let's open now the cities migration. So here now the city is going to belong to the state and the state of the country. So let's create first the relationship dollar sign table. For reason I did the same thing we had with the states and countries. Here I'm going to say state id constraint and also cascade on delete and here the same we need the name for the city so let's say string or the name let's save let's close let's open the departments migration and for the departments we need only the name so let's say here dollar sign table string name and now let's open the employees migration so employees now for the employees we need the first name uh, last name middle name so let's say here dollar sign table string first name okay last name and uh, middle name the last sign table string and here i'm going to say middle name okay also we need the address so the last sign table string address I'm going to add the char for 
zip code so let's say here zip code and we need the date hired and date of birth which is going to be date so let's say the last line table date and say date of birth here and the last line table date and here I'm going to say date hired Now, uh, I have created this project many times and the first time I have created, I had a document where the employees belong to the country, also to the state and to the city and also to the department. And I had the comments on YouTube, if the employee belong to the city and then the city belong to the state and also the state to the country, so we don't need to have the employee belong to the country but I'm going to add that the employee is going to belong to the country, state, city and department the same I had in the document when I created this for the first time okay so let's say here dollar sign table version ID and first I'm going to say for country ID and here I'm going to say constraint and also cascade on delete and let's copy and paste this now this one is going to be for the state so let's say state city and department okay let's save close and now run artisan migrate okay hit enter and that's it about this video i hope you enjoy friends and see you in the next one where we need to create the filament resources all the best and don't forget to subscribe and like to the video